talking and grabbing with Cold Moon. On today's episode, we have a lot of noise in the background. Uh, there's a motorcycle gang that just moved across the street. <laughs> we have three different beers today, and they are stuff. Pike Saison Houblon, Emerald ISA from Schooner Exact, and Silver City's Oktoberfest. How do these three beers go together, you might ask? Uh, yes. They don't. <laughs> we just have three beers that we're throwing together. <laughs> we just want to get drunk. Let's dive in here. Uh, let's start from the lowest ABV. We'll start with the Schooner Exact, which comes in at 4.7% ABV. Uh, and ISA is a uh, thing they made up. India Session Ale. Se oh, it's a Session. I am a huge fan of Session IPAs. Because you get just enough of the bitterness from the hops, but it's also very drinkable. It's not too much in your face. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's doable. I like that one. Yeah. You get the flavor from the IPA. But it dies off very quickly and it turns into just sort of a nice pale ale. Oh, yeah, that's ridiculously good. I enjoy the shit out of that one. I was not looking forward to it, mm. but now that I drink it, I. No, that's great. Uh, very, very drinkable. You could have a whole lot of those. I would give that like a 7.9. I'm gonna give it like an 8. It. Uh, I. You know what? 8 and a half. I. Mm. Just. Ugh. I don't Fair like enough. IPAs, and that's good. <laughs> so, next we have Pikes Saison Houblon, and this one is coming at you at 6.5 percent ABB. Uh, I do enjoy me some Pike beers. Yeah, like Killifter I, is probably my favorite. Me and Pike Brewery are uh, hit or miss. Mm, it smells good. Ooh, ooh, that it smells, smells good. Yeah, I love farmhouse ales. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. goddamn. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's almost its almost like the Black Raven, uh, the Dugar almost. It's close. It's, it's not, not as quite strong. as floral. It doesn't have quite the bite that that one yeah. does, but I mean, it's got a very it's nice. close on the flavor profile. Very nice uh, Saison type flavors. Ooh. But in a rich way. You win this round, Pike Brewery. It's not quite as acidic as a lot of Saisons are, it's more rich. Yeah, uh, that's one thing I've, I've noticed. A lot of the saisons are kind of almost like a champagne. Mm -hmm. the, this one's not quite to that yeah, level. This one's more like a Belgian beer style. Of yeah, it reminds me of more of like the uh, the Omegongs. Mm -hmm. For what it is, saison, <laughs> houblon. I'm gonna I'll saison. Give, I'll give it an eight. I'm gonna give that one a seven and a half. Mm. Didn't quite like that one as much. Our final beer. From Silver City, Oktoberfest. This beer comes in at 6.25%. Thank you for really nailing in that. I was going to say, like, do you really need the <laughs> .25 on there? Like, I, I guess here's what these beers have in common. They're all made in Washington. Yeah, that's why we bought all <laughs> Yes. We were thinking ahead. <laughs> we knew what we were doing. Yeah, come on. It's not about alcoholism. <laughs> Cheers. When I was drinking that root beer. Oh, oh wow. man. That is followed up by like a nice sweet pumpkin pumpkin sort of thing happening. Oh. It's like you could get fucked up off of this stuff. It's a brown ale hiding under a thin veneer of uh, pale ale. It's very crazy. Like at first I've not had a pumpkin beer flavored like yeah. this. At first you get pale ale, like right up in front, and then like it, it just sort of develops into like a nice nutty brown ale. Yeah, the closest one I've come and, and it's still like way stronger pumpkin flavor than what this is, but the uh, out of my gourd or out of mm. your gourd mm. the uh, the Red Hook pumpkin beer. It's got kind of a similar flavor to this, but this is it's just so smooth and it hits great. Like you swallowed it, and then all of a sudden it's like, mmm, there is that pumpkin. Yeah, but it, it's uh, it's a rich and fulfilling beer. Oh, versus yeah. like a, uh, 
constantly drinking, refreshing session type of beer. It's Ooh. more of a meal beer. Not quite that much. Not quite that heavy, but not, I mean, yeah, it's heading there. Yeah, it's it's not meaty enough to be a, a meal beer, but after having the other two, mm-hmm. it does. It refreshes your palate. Like, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, like I'm I'm ready to taste more beers. <laughs> fall fall weather beer. Mm, that's great. Yeah, a, a, a lot of the pumpkin beer. I'm I'm a fan of pumpkin beers, yeah. but some of them they like they overdo it on trying to make it pumpkiny. This one is it's just the slightest amount, and then just the, the body of the beer is yeah. just so good. Yeah, it just gives it a sweet richness that it wouldn't have had otherwise. Mm. Pretty tasty. It's it's hard when you get three beers in a row that are so good. Like I hate like giving three beers in a row eights, but that's another eight. This is a nine Woo. for me. This is the best pumpkin beer I've had. All three of these beers are delicious. Mm-hmm. Very good stuff. All right, this has been Grubbin' with Colt Moon. Thank you for watching.